In August of 1963, there was the great march on Washington for jobs and freedom. 200,000 people were there, and everybody remembers Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech, but the most militant speech of the day was delivered by John Lewis, a student leader from the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. He's from Alabama. But he was pressured by established civil rights leaders to tone down his speech, but here is the part of the original speech that he had hoped to deliver that day. We march today for jobs and freedom, but we have nothing to be proud of, for hundreds and thousands of our brothers and sisters are not here. They have no money for their transportation, for they are receiving starvation wages, or no wages at all. In good conscience, we cannot support the administration's civil rights bill, for it is too little and too late. The voting section of this bill would not help thousands of black citizens who want to vote. It would not help the citizens of Mississippi, of Alabama, of Georgia, who are qualified to vote but lack a sixth grade education. We are now involved in revolution. This nation is still a place of cheap political leaders who build their careers on immoral compromise and ally themselves with open forms of political, economic, and social exploitation. What political leader here can stand up and say, my party is a party of principle. The party of Kennedy is also the party of Eastland. The party of Javis is also the party of Goldwater. Where is our party? The revolution is at hand, and we must free ourselves of the chains of political and economic slavery. The nonviolent revolution is saying, we will not wait for the courts to act. We, will have, we, will, we have been waiting for hundreds of years. We will not wait for the president, the Justice Department, the Congress, but we will take matters into our own hands and create a source of power outside any national structure that could and would assure us of victory. To those who have said, be patient and wait, we must say that patience is a dirty and nasty word. Mm -hmm. We cannot be patient. We do not want to be free gradually. We want our freedom and we want it now. We cannot depend on any political party for both the Democrats and the Republicans have betrayed the basic principles of the Declaration of Independence. We all recognize the fact that if any radical social, political, and economic changes are to take place in this society, the people, the masses, must bring them about. Mr. Kennedy is trying to take the revolution out of the streets and put it into the courts. Listen, Mr. Kennedy. Listen, Mr. Congressman. Listen, fellow citizens. The black masses are on the march for jobs and for freedom. And we must say to the politicians that there won't be a cooling off period. We won't stop now. All the forces of Eastland, Barnett, Wallace, and Thurman won't stop the revolution. The time will come when we will not confine our marching to Washington. We will march through the South, through the heart of Dixie, the way Sherman did. We shall pursue our own scorched earth policy and burn Jim Crow to the ground. Burn Jim Crow to the ground nonviolently. We, we shall fragment the South into a thousand pieces and put them back together in the image of democracy. We will make the action of the past few months look petty. And as I say to you, wake up, America.